Every great athlete starts somewhere. In this week's Journey to Greatness, we chat with Indiana Pacers forward Miles Turner. The rise from obscure high school player to NBA star is far from easy, but it can happen pretty quickly. Just ask Indiana Pacers big man Miles Turner. He recently signed a $72 million extension, but just five years ago, he was a rising high school prospect in Euless, Texas. Well, I really take pride in being a basketball player, you know, not playing a single position. I mean, I can shoot the ball um, out to an extended amount of range, you know, I can play inside, you know, I can, um, you know, defend the perimeter and play, um, you know, guard the paint as well. So I really pride myself on being just an all-around basketball player, not just a, you know, a center. It's definitely going by fast, you know, especially, you know, when you compare it to the whole college life. You know, a, lot of my, a lot of my peers graduated this year. It's just funny how time flies. Everybody's kind of doing their own thing now, going into their own lives, but um, it's definitely flowing by. Miles wasn't a highly regarded prospect as a high school sophomore, but after he broke his ankle in an AAU game, he committed to becoming a more well-rounded player as he rehabbed. And two days after surgery, we went right to the gym. His trainer, Ken Roberson, um, and Miles hit the, hit the weight room every day. And Miles was just so dedicated that he stayed at it and he put on about 20 pounds of muscle. He grew about four or five inches. It's definitely been um, eye-opening, just knowing that you know, it could be taken away from you just like that. But um, you know, I've had, an, I've had a number of injuries that I've been able to bounce back from, but that one was definitely a good uh, eye-opener for me. Despite being recruited by some coaches and other top prospects to leave Trinity High School, Miles was most comfortable staying in his hometown. He played four years for Trinity, and he still returns to Euless to run basketball camps in the offseason. Those camps mean everything to me. I mean, that's one of the first things that I got going as soon as I got drafted, as soon as I got into the league, you know, we started working on it. Just to be able to come back, kind of go back to my community and just to uh, you know, give these kids just this little clinic you know, right before school starts. And it's a lot of fun for them and for myself as well. I love being out there, spending the same amount of energy they are. It's a very tight-knit community. And so that's how it's always been since I've been here. I've never had any, any problems here whatsoever. You know, I love coming home. Having them, their support behind me year in and year out has been huge. We've always raised Miles to be independent and try to help him make better decisions and make decisions on his own. And we were really proud of the fact that he made a decision to stay at Trinity for the reasons that he made the decision. And that would be, you know, he wants to, he wanted to finish what he started. I mean, they tried. And I guess what I appreciate about him and his family and his character is they wanted to stay here. You know, he wanted to help put Trinity on the map. And that, that's just a sign of him and his character. The support from home still fuels Miles as he seeks to take his professional career to new heights. He hopes to not only improve individually, but he also likes the direction of the Pacers franchise. I have a lot of personal goals, but team goals is one thing that's big for me. You know, I've been in the league for three years now. You know, we've had a first round exit every year. You know, the East is uh, going to be competitive this year, but I think we have a, a great chance to be able to make it out. I've made some strides, but it's still a long way to go. You know, I've learned so much since I've been in the league, you know, especially on the defensive end of the ball. But, um, I still have a, a lot more to learn, a lot more to do, and uh, you know, I feel like I'm just going to start it. 